Commerce. It's great to have you here. And this video is about how you can make money online, make money from the comfort of your home, how you can start your own profitable t-shirt business, t-shirt store online, even if you've never done this before, even if you're a total newbie, a total beginner, you'll see how you can open your new store without spending any money, without spending a cent. If you'd like your own money-making t-shirt business, if you'd like your own online money-making t-shirt store, stick with me because that's what this video is all about and a whole lot more. I'm not only going to show you how, to, how you can access your store for free, how you can access your own store for free, I'm also going to help you with some training to get your store going to save you a whole lot of time and a whole lot of trouble. I'm going to be sharing with you a whole bunch of stuff that I've learned by, by doing it all the wrong way and hopefully you can be doing it all the right way. In addition to your free business, I want to sh I'm going to be sharing a bonus with you, a bonus, bonus, a real bonus that's going to help you. I'm going to be sharing with you some free tools that are going to help you, that are going to help you with the design side of this. The design side is one of the obstacles that I think a lot of people have to overcome. Well, in my bonus, I'm going to show you how you're not only going to be able to get a free store, you're also going to be able to get tools totally free that are going to help you with the design. They're going to turn you from a novice into a pro. If you have some concerns or some issues or some fears with starting your own business or starting a t-shirt business, you should. You should. That's that's normal. What you're about to discover is that this is a whole lot easier than you ever expected. And one of the obstacles of starting most new businesses is risk. Being able to do all this for free not only takes the relief off of you as far as the risk goes, the cost and so forth, it also means stress relief for yourself. Now that doesn't mean we want to treat this like a hobby. If you treat any business like a hobby, it's going to be a hobby. If you want to treat it like a business, it's going to be a business. Another aspect about this business, about the t-shirt business, it's what's called a print-on-demand POD business, POD products, because most t-shirt suppliers have a lot more products that you can add to your store as well. We'll get into that a little bit later. So what that brings up, however, is that you need to design in order to be in the t-shirt business, and that's where most people go, forget about it, I'm not a designer. I was the same exact way, exactly the same way. In fact, that was essentially a deal breaker for me, but I do not, do not make a decision about any business or pretty, I try not to make a decision about anything without getting all the facts. And what I discovered were that there are a bunch of free tools, absolutely free tools that make this design stuff easy. The tools are going to do the work for you. And you'll see that shortly. If design is an issue, a fear, an obstacle, put it aside for a moment. See what I've got in store for you before you make that final decision. Because if, if I hadn't found this out, I would have never got into this business. So uh, if you feel that same way, stick with me. You're going to be amazed at these free tools are going to be able to do for you and do for me. So I'm going to be sharing with you 16 tricks and secrets that I have learned. Most t-shirt companies print t-shirts. They also will do a whole lot of other products. Most of them will do anywhere from 100 to 300 products or even more. What that means is that you can actually fill your store with a whole lot more free product. Print on demand is a huge craze. It's been a huge craze for a number of years. Presently, it is at its peak. What you see here is from Google Trends and t-shirts is at 100. That means it's at the highest point, the highest search level that it's ever been in the whole history of Google Trends. It's a, it is at the at the highest level that it's ever been before. I want to talk about luck, and I don't like to, uh, and I figure that we create our own luck, but it's certainly a nice plus to get in at the very best time ever. The way the t-shirt business typically works is that you sell a t-shirt. That's pretty much all you need to worry about. Or you sell a POD product, be it a t-shirt or otherwise. You sell the product and you you know you sell that on your free online store. We're going to get to that shortly. And then the POD t-shirt supplier or distributor is going to fulfill your order. They're going to do all the they're going to take care of everything else. They get just some of the other products that are available. 
mugs, very, very hot, of course, print-on-demand mugs, hoodies, uh, tote bags. These are additional items that you can add to your, to your free t-shirt store. Next, I want to share with you how you can get your online t-shirt store for free. If you like this video, and I certainly hope you do, if you're finding value in this video, give it a big old thumbs up if you would. Do that right now. Turn that like button black. Thank you so much. And if you're interested in making money from home, I invite you to join my channel. That way, I'm going to be able to let you know whenever I publish a new video. Back to our video. Getting a free online store is actually easy, amazingly easy. There's quite a number of choices that you actually that you have. I'm going to share a couple of the most popular choices that you have. Number one is what's called WooCommerce. And you can also hook up with a store that's already built, a store such as Spreadshop. Spreadshop is free. It's free up until $30,000 annually. What's unique about Spreadshop is that it's already loaded with products. You just set up the store and it's got all the products in there. So this means that setting up the store is super easy and super fast. WooCommerce is also free and it stays free. WooCommerce is what's called a plugin. It's a WordPress plugin. So you need what's called a WordPress website. You can get a free, a totally free WordPress website from a site called Alter Vista. It's altervista.org. It's totally free. They're as good as a paid WordPress site, and they're actually better than a regular WordPress site that you would get for free from WordPress. Why are they better? They have many more plugins that are available, many more options that are, that are available, just like the paid version. Most of the print on demand suppliers are going to integrate with WooCommerce. That means that you're going to be able to simply hook up your WooCommerce website to your supplier. Once you put the two together, then things kind of work on autopilot. So the next thing I want to talk about is design because ultimately your t-shirt business is going to revolve around your design. This is the part that again that I think that scares most people. It certainly it certainly scared me. And if you're a non-artsy person, and I'm a non-artsy person, then this you're going to love what's, what follows next. Because I'm going to show you how to turn, not only turn design into professional, uh, into hot selling designs, it's going to turn the design aspect of this business from the worst to the worst aspect to the best. Because the design part is the fun part. I'm going to start with 13 t-shirt tricks or secrets. Primarily, it's going to help you with design. So number one, you want to be original. I cannot tell you that enough. You want to be original. For one thing, it's good for sales. It, it, it's good for sales. It's going to help you because it's going to separate you from the rest. The thing is that you do not want to copy anyways because it is illegal. It's, there's copyright issues. It's illegal. So, and so if you copy someone's designs, you take a risk of your store being shut down. Number two is to remove the background. If you're going to put a person, an animal, a dog, a pet, whatever it might be, on a t-shirt, it's usually best to remove the background. And I'm going to share with you a little bit later a free site that's going to remove your background and do a an incredible, a perfect job and do it for free. And the reason why you want to do that is because if you don't do it, it looks like your design is kind of like a sticker, like it's stuck on there. It really doesn't look nearly as good as when you remove the background because now your image is kind of like jumping out, jumping out at people. And that's what you want. You want your image to jump out. You want everything you do to jump out, to stand out, to be different. Another way to get your designs to jump out to get people to pay attention is your font. You want to make sure the font is big, it's bold, and you want to get pick colors that are going to stand out as well. You also want to make sure that your design is very easy to read. That's essential. It must be easy to read. So keep it short, keep it sweet, keep it simple, which makes your job shorter and sweeter and simpler anyways. But and make sure it's easy to read. When you create a design, think in terms of rectangles and kind of like a long, like a long, tall rectangle. Long, tall rectangle. 
when you use that kind of a shape you don't have to but when you do that's pretty much the standard shape of most t-shirt designs so all so your designs are going to kind of fit right in so think in terms of a long tall rectangle the next trick now this might seem obvious but it's a design mistake that's easy to make and that's be, sh be sure to put your design in the middle don't put it too high don't put it too low put it in the middle because that's where it belongs not only is that where it belongs but if you don't do that your t-shirts are not going to sell now another way uh, to get your designs to stand out to jump out is the color of your font or the color of your text make sure that there's good contrast make sure that it does jump out don't use gray on gray or black on black if you know what i'm saying you want good contrast and you want that again you want it to stand out so use vibrant colors use colors that are vibrant use colors that are alive use colors that are going to jump out the next thing you want to do is to kind of is to know your audience and when you're just starting out you're you really don't know your audience it'd be great if you did you're you're kind of finding your audience but when you find that audience find out everything you can about them and cater to that audience those are the people that are buying t-shirts sell to those people when you find something that works in business whether it's a t-shirt business or any business do more of it when you find your audience pay attention to what your audience wants and give it to them now when it comes to print on demand this is not graphic art this is not complicated in fact you don't want it to be complicated one of the mistakes that a lot of newbies can make is that they get real complicated in their design because they're they they are they're they're simply trying to be different and be better and they're actually shooting themselves in the foot this is not graphic art this is a t-shirt so you want, believe it or not simple keep it simple another obvious point that I want to share but I think it's very important is to do good work we don't have to get carried away but we have to be willing to do whatever little extras that is going to separate us from the rest there are millionaires that are being cranked out every day when it comes to the t-shirt business here's an opportunity where, where, where you can get started for free the next trick is to think you and I to think unique and to add interest make them as interesting as you possibly can think you and I the next trick is to follow your stats it's your job it's my job it's our job to come up with designs that people want designs that people will buy it's not about what we want it's about what they want so follow your stats because your your stats are going to tell you what's selling and what's not again what's selling do more of it and number 13 is to learn what sells a couple of easy ways to to readily find out what is selling what is hot number one you can go to Amazon the best place to go is a place called Amazon best sellers I'll leave a link below to that it's kind of a, a weird link so I'm going to leave a link below to that that way you can get on Amazon you can type in whatever it is you're looking for and see what what is selling see what see what those best sellers are and then don't copy you don't want you never want to copy but we might want to try to emulate whatever what these other people are doing but try to emulate it when we do we want to be unique we want to be different we want to be interesting and and hopefully we're going to be better the other way that you can find out what is selling is simply type it in your search box see what Google has to say one of the sites I want to share with you is called Canva it's canva.com c-a-n-v-a.com I'm going to take us there in a little while it's a totally free site and it's it's a site that we can use to design our t-shirts but there's a few steps that I want to share with you before we go there because there are a few little extra tricks and secrets that we can that, that I want you to know about that I want you to learn before you jump into design the first site I want to share with you is a site called remove BG that's a that's a site that will take away the background there's a background it's usually going to be better to remove that background remove BG is going to do that for free you simply go to remove BG upload your image remove the background and actually remove BG will remove it automatically and 
99% of the time they will do a perfect job. If it's not perfect, remove BG allows you to edit the image so you can make it perfect. The next thing I want to do is take you to a site called Snap Touch. SnapTouch.com and you'll find links below to remove BG and Snap Touch below as well as Canva. What Snap Touch is going to allow you to do is to turn your image into something that's a little bit different or a lot different than everybody else's image. You can turn it into a sketch, a, an outline, a drawing, a painting, or you can change the color effect. So you've got a, quite a number of different choices and they're all free, but what they're going to help you to do is to make your design different, unique, and to make it stand out. Both sites are real easy to use. Simply choose the image or choose the file that you want to upload. Customize if you want to and then let Remove BG and Snap Touch do their job and download that image. If you need an image source, I recommend Pixabay.com. I believe it's got something like 2.6 million images on there. So whatever you're looking for, chances are Pixabay has it. They have it for free and there's no attribution necessary and there's no copyright to worry about. Uh, I would recommend that you join Pixabay. You can join for free, but when you join, now you can upload the highest resolution image. You don't have to do capture every time. And and uh, and the other point is, of course, to, again, to, to download the highest resolution images. Now, I've taken us to Pixabay. I'm looking for an image of a cat. Pet images are always popular. Just a, a few years ago, one particular designer absolutely crushed it on animated pet images. So I want to show you how to do an animated pet image. Go to Pixabay, we're going to search for a cat, we're going to find a cat that we want, and download it. Download it again, the highest resolution, and we can go to remove BG, remove the background, download it with the background removed, and then go to snap, touch, turn it into an animated image. Now we're ready to go to Canva. When you go to Canva, Canva is a free site, but again, I would recommend that you join. You can, again, you can join for free. I'm not sure if you have to join or not in order to use this site, but you, I would recommend you join anyways because then Canva is going to keep track of your work. Go to Canva. Once you join, log in and then click on t-shirts. If, uh, if t-shirts isn't showing up right at the top, then simply, then you can type t-shirts in the search box and it will, then it will show up and click on t-shirts. We're going to start with a blank t-shirt. We want to upload our image. In order to do that, simply click on upload on the left. Find your image, upload it, and add your text, and you're ready to download your image. In order to download your image, click on download on the right, click on PNG, and then click on download again. And our next step is to upload our design. And what I'm going to share with you here is how you can upload it to Spreadshop. And as you can see here, you can upload it to Spreadshop. So it's super easy to upload it. Or you would upload it to your supplier if you were using WooCommerce. If you do use WooCommerce, no problem. You will need a supplier. Some of the suppliers that I might recommend would be Printful, Printify, and Custom Cat. These are three POD t-shirt suppliers that have from about 200 to 300 different products. Uh, they have uh, fair prices and reasonably fast shipping and they are reliable. When you upload your design, another thing that you want to pay attention to is the title and the description and the tags. When someone's searching for a cute cat t-shirt or a cat t-shirt or a funny cat t-shirt and so on, you want them to find your t-shirt. A tool that you might want to consider is totally free. It's going to help you with what are called keywords. Keywords are the words that people are going to be using to find your t-shirt. Uber Suggest is going to give you some suggested keywords that are also going to let you know what the uh, search volume is, how many people are searching for that, as well as what's called SD, and that is the difficulty for organic search for free search. With Uber Suggest, the lower the SD, the better. Yeah, I'm, I would suggest that we sh that you shoot for the 50s, and hopefully you can get it in the 40s, the 30s, 
And if you can get it in the 20s, the 10s, or the, or the single numbers, chances are you're going to jump all over that if there's, if there's any kind of reasonable search. And reasonable, uh, probably 500 or better. With 500 or better with a low search volume, preferably 1,000 or better if, if there's some competition. Chin and I would probably stay away from the high competition products. As a beginner, easier SD, lower SD is going to mean that you've got a bet, much better chance of scoring, of getting traffic, free traffic, with those keywords. So all this keyword stuff is about getting free traffic. And when you include them again in your description, include them in your title, you include them in your tags, these are telling the search engines that when people search for these words, send them here. Another tip that I want to share with you that might help you kind of get a little shot in the arm, especially when you're getting started, it's actually about holidays, special events, and so forth. Now, evergreen t-shirts, these are t-shirts that are kind of, uh, that are going to sell year-round, you might say. Those are fine. Nothing wrong with those. Uh, those are terrific, and those are probably going to be your bread and butter. However, t-shirts that focus on things like holidays, things like events, observances, Nation, national days, seasonal events, these can do surprisingly well, even if it's for a short time. You simply want to remember to drag them out once a year, but the advantage of that is that you should be able to get some fast sales. And examples of what I'm talking about would be like back to school, which is uh, at the time of this video, that's happening right now, or, or something like national dog day. That is on August 26th. It might not be a big deal to you, but it's a big deal to a lot of people. And again, this business is about the people. It's about our visitors, about our customers. What do they want? And there's a lot of people that want National Dog Day t-shirt. And to kind of back up what I'm saying, back to school. Back to school gets over 90,000 searches per month. That's 90,000 people that are searching for back to school each and every month. National Dog Day gets over 60,000 searches every month. For a copious list, the biggest list that you probably could ever imagine, uh, multiply that by a few times, you might want to check out a site or visit a site called nationaltoday.com is going to give you every kind of holiday and observance that you could ever dream of. And the idea there is use National Today to find the holidays and then use Uber Suggest to let you know if those holidays are getting any traffic. And when you find one that gets a lot of search and hopefully little or no competition, jump on it. It's going to give your business a quick financial shot in the arm. Now, as soon as you get experience, you may want to consider scaling your business. Scaling your business means growing your business, getting even bigger, making more money. One of the ways you can do that, of course, is to add more products. The other way is to open more stores. Another way is to branch out into other, onto other platforms such as eBay, Etsy, Amazon, and so on. So the, the world is your oyster. You're going to find that it's fun. If you haven't hit that like button, for goodness sakes, turn that like button black. Do that right now. I thank you so much. And remember to subscribe to my channel. Smash that subscribe button and ring the bell so that I can let you know every time I publish a new video. Allow me to wish you much success. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next video. One, two, three.